Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Light Up Solution. Today I will discuss uh, another uh, video on uh, aggregator where the partial pages uh, are sent to the server uh, with the help of update panel and uh, it is a work of uh, AJAX extension so that is a script manager. So uh, I have already discussed these things script uh, manager and timer in the previous uh, video but uh, again I will uh, show you these things uh, here I have the page uh, suppose default to and uh, I want to show my images uh, in this editor and uh, with the help of edit, uh, external file as a source file of this editor I have already created one external file here uh, this is the advertisement file as a source of editor and uh, I will uh, connect this uh, to the property of editor as advertisement file here. This is advertisement file, and I will browse this file as to file mode. Okay. So uh, now the thing is that uh, skip manager is required, and one timer is also required, and uh, uh, the edit editor already is here. So I have to take one update panel. You see here uh, this is update panel and uh, within this update panel I have to keep both the things timer and uh, the editor so I will just drag and drop uh, both the things with this update panel then only uh, the portion of this update panel will be post to a server and that is refreshing will be occurred on this area only the other area of the pages will not be sent to the server so that will not be refreshed and shown to you so it is uh, uh, very uh, fruitful to us because whole pages are not uh, affected by this event so i just drag and drag and drop this uh, within the update panel and uh, i have take uh, i will also take this editor within this and now both the things are in the update panel so the refreshing is uh, occupied only in this pages affected within this pages so i'll increase the area of this other panel and uh, now i'll just uh, save it and this section is uh, can be identified with the source code also you see here where the update panel is the uh, defined and uh, with this, this update panel the content is kept with a content template uh, tag and within content tablet tag there is a timer control and the editor which is uh, i have already shown you that uh, just uh, drag and drop it uh, within this update panel so this is the asp code here update panel id uh, is new update panel one and this is the action and uh, the content template is created in this and where ASP timer is created with uh, one millisecond, uh, one second uh, time interval, and uh, editor is uh, placed with source file this. So now you see the design file here. Yes, it is the uh, file where with the uh, page where I am uh, using this uh, timer and editor. Now save these things, and uh, and uh, I want to uh, uh, build and uh, run this page now. Uh, you see the effect that only this portion of this uh, update panel is refreshed. So it has uh, no error. Let's see. So I will again build it. This build is complete. One success. It's okay. Now I will execute it and uh, see the output here it is taking a little uh, more time here now see the pages here and uh, the refresh is uh, only on that portion also uh, because you see uh, this uh, is not refreshing that is the main source of page is not refreshing but content of this area of editor area is uh, refreshed automatically 
so it is uh, very uh, fruitful to us i think uh, you, uh, you have also uh, very uh, can be used in your project so i think uh, it is uh, it is uh, convenient to ask for more uh, using our projects in today uh, day to day life so thank you for doing this thank you